The Rich Center at Youngstown, Youngstown State University is a designated center of excellence. It's also the only autism center located on a university campus. But these aren't the only sole reasons the Rich Center is unique. It's also the oldest autism center in the state of Ohio. Joining me from the Rich Center are Phyllis Ricciuti, Rich Center founder and current board president, Georgia Backus, the director of the center. Nice to have you both here. Thanks for having us. You know, we talk about the fact, Phyllis, that this was founded in 1996. And really this happened because, believe it or not, it doesn't sound like that long ago, there were not very many services for um, families who had children with autism, were there? No, it's unbelievable because we checked with the Center for Disease Control at the time because the university wanted us to give them some statistics. It was one in 10,000 at that point, and it's now down to one in 85, so that tells you where we've gone. So that was 1996. Right. How did this all start then? Well, um, it was a bad situation that I think we turned into a good one. Uh, my son and daughter-in-law and their unborn child were killed uh, on a flight arriving in Pittsburgh in 1996. And um, my daughter-in-law's cu- uh, nephew, sorry, had to stop and think about it, um, had just been diagnosed with autism, and they were his godparents. And the family was feeling helpless and said, what do we do? And the community just rallied behind us, and we ended up with $25,000. And we said, what are we going to do with this money? We can't spend it on ourselves. And... Um, We thought we knew everything that there was to know about autism. We went to the university and said, hey, we have this great idea. And they listened to us, which is so amazing. And so now you are still on the university campus. Yes, we are. Which, yeah. you're the only one in Ohio, I don't know, around the country, are you mm-hmm. the only one that's... I think there's a few on campuses, but it is a unique situation. It is a unique situation, yeah. and good for everyone. And yeah. Now, Georgia, you're a center of excellence. I don't really understand what that term means. I know it's a good thing, but what does it mean? It is a good thing. Um, a number of years ago, uh, the chancellor had recommended to all 11 universities that they designate centers of excellence. Um, Youngstown State designated us as one of the university centers of excellence and then submitted our name to, to the state. Certain criteria had to be made in terms of excellence for service and excellence towards research. And because we were the only university center-based campus um, opportunity as well as our existence and our track record of success, um, we were designated a center of excellence. Now, Phyllis, we talked earlier before we went on the air about how people can get to the Rich Center in Youngstown. And it isn't just for people in Northeast Ohio that can participate and come to the programs. How does it work? Right. Well, the majority of our children are from Northeast Ohio Which just because sense. of the convenience, right. because it's a 24-hour-a-day situation with the parents. Um, but we have several students from Pittsburgh or from the Pennsylvania area, but they pay tuition because they're not covered under the scholarship. But the children that come to the Rich Center get a $20,000 autism scholarship, but it costs us about dollars to $40,000 per student. So we're we're constantly out there in the community just trying to raise funds to, because we don't charge tuition. How would you explain what the center's mission is, Georgia? What do you do for these kids? Well, the, I see it as three different pieces. The first one is education and treatment service, um, implementing best practices, as well as following Ohio content standards uh, to support children and families. One of the reasons it's so expensive is because our ratio on average is one provider to two children. Wow, that is good. And all our providers are either um, bachelor or master level um, specialists that serve the kids. The second component, and what the, the board w- had really looked at, is hoping that the center would be able to train educators how to work with kids with autism because even today you may get a page or two in a text with regard to the characteristics of autism. And so the second part of what we do is provide a living laboratory so that um, other prof- professionals and paraprofessionals, say in education, in health and human services, uh, we we do a lot with Neomed, which and our research is the student, third component, and correct? Research mm-hmm. is the third. And I think people need to know that you do look at what you do at the center, and you contribute through research as to the new best practices. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and we don't see ourselves single just in Northeast Ohio. Research affects worldwide. Right. And that you can share that that information is wonderful. Well, we have these learning modules on our website, which people can go in and learn a lot more. And we have that information on the screen, so we hope people do go to your website. Great. Phyllis, Georgia, thank you much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Thanks.